there was a time my temper was a little short. We were just out of Kalispell one time and some kid went by me and gave me the finger and I chased him clear to Missoula. I'd calmed down a little bit but an hour and a half later, but you know, I wish he'd have pulled over immediately. I, I completely understand road rage. Meet the Deckers. This is Charlie, one of the founding fathers of RMEF. And this is his wife, Yvonne. She puts up with him. Well, it says 35 ahead, and then it says 65 up here. Uh, well, you ignore that one. I think the speed limit's 80, though. Seatbelts are very, very important, I can tell you that. Now, what's this clown doing? Yeah, well, pay attention to the road. I'm paying attention. About driving me nuts on my driving. I'm a very good driver, but. Yeah. Oh, twin bridges in Virginia City. Oh, you have to turn. I didn't hear Syria talking. Well, especially after you called her Syria again. Final destination for the Deckers is Twin Bridges, Montana, site of the 2018 Montana Rendezvous. Twin Bridges, here we are. The small town that cares. Rendezvous is a statewide event. Our volunteers, our staff members, uh, we're a big family here. <laughs> this is kind of our one time a year to get together and be a part of that family. And it's great to have Charlie and Yvonne here. Where's the coffee? So I have a few friends, but none of them will give me any coffee. And then the other thing, you know, I did, I'd never seen him without a hat, and I find he's bald as a billiard ball. <laughs> this first day of the rendezvous starts with some good old fashioned boots on the ground volunteer work. It's very popular. The, the volunteers love doing things out on the ground. The rain has blocked everybody from getting to the project, except for us, because of this. So Yamaha's gonna get us in. What about your seatbelt there? That's as far as it goes. You got enough reach in that? Well, this thing is stuck. Oh, look at you. I want to be able to jump. <laughs> Good. Today's project is conifer thinning along with weed pulling on some crucial elk wintering grounds on the Rob Ledford Wildlife Management Area. It's estimated that between two and 3,000 elk use this property for wintering. Your heart picks up several beats when you hear that, boy. The Rob Ledford is a particularly special place to RMEF, especially Charlie. A landmark event in our history of giving us credibility, I would say, and that we were here to do something for the elk and other wildlife. It was here in 1988 that RMEF made its first land acquisition that would soon after be transferred to the state of Montana. Without it, this property most likely would have been sold to a private party and then one of Montana's great treasures would have never been. This is a prime example of access to a bunch of forest land and a person bought it at that time, we'd have lost all that public ground for opportunities to hunt. If you haven't been a part of one of these projects before, like it seems like a really, really daunting task because everywhere you look, there's black timber. The object is to not eliminate all this black timber, 
is to, to stop the encroachment uh, to where when it begins to really move into these grasslands, chip away at it. That's all you can do. Just continue to knock one down at a time and, and get involved in projects like this. So it just makes you feel really good to be able to come out here with a group of volunteers, uh, some of the wildlife biologists from the state of Montana, just hammer it out and knock it down. I think what this project is all about, everybody's still coming together. We're handing it over to Montana and then still remaining involved. You gotta get low, you gotta make sure you get the roots out of there, all right? There you go. It's very gratifying to come back and see one of the projects that we did in our very infancy that uh, has turned out so well. Now, back to camp for this evening's Wild Game Potluck competition. Well, it's a tough competition. Usually I've won it, but I've kind of backed off. Did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Be sure and pay attention to what you get because we're going to vote on who has the best meal. This is hands down my favorite. However, I'm like a sucker for Asian food, so it's not really that fair that you would make a Wild Game Asian dish. I'm the defending champion. Of what? Oh, this, whatever this is. Whatever this is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bug spray. <laughs> I do it because I like to give back. I like, I have fun. We get to actually talk with other chapters and learn about what they're doing and what works for them, what works for us, and we get to share our ideas. Hit the board. Montana is a very large state, but it is a very small community. And the rendezvous gives us an opportunity to be able to see one another that we haven't been able to see uh, since the last rendezvous. And the great thing about it is that you find that you might have one person from a chapter that's come for the first time and wasn't really sure what it meant, and they came back the next year with their family and with other chapter members. You'll see hopefully generations that will come back. <laughs> and be part of it and know that they made friendships that lasted a lifetime because they met them here during the rendezvous. You're the auctioneer, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Decker. When is the last time that you've auctioned anything? Have you ever auctioned before? I, I really have. You really have? Yeah. Are you good at let me give me a just let me see. Give me a little give me a little. Uh, I have I got the Where well, I'm trying to middle get it. Five hundred only got five hundred anyway, five hundred, five hundred anyway, five hundred got five hundred come on where all your cheap cake come on board. Uh. <laughs> How about too cheap, too cheap, too good to go. <laughs>